streaming again. Sorry if this is clogging your feed, but I told you in one of my recent videos, I'm working with some new streaming software here and I'm trying to get it right so that I can do this more often. So hopefully this video has come up for you with a title, which would be nice if I could figure out how to get it up with a uh, thumbnail. That would be all right as well. I'm holding dun, 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 Leo Strauss. What is political philosophy? If you ever want to know where to start reading Strauss, the first chapter of this book, which is also called What is Political Philosophy, is a great place to begin. So, oh, here we go. I see. Thanks for the comment. I was wondering why I couldn't see the comments in my streaming software last time, and it's because I had the window covered up. Pretty much just user error. Well, anyway, since we're here, I think I should read you some Strauss. The meaning of political philosophy and its meaningful character is as evident today as it always has been since the time when political philosophy came to light in Athens. All political action aims at either preservation or change. When desiring to preserve, we wish to prevent a change to the worse. When desiring to change, we wish to bring about something better. You agree with that? Pretty uncontroversial. You either want to preserve things so they don't get worse or you want to change them to make them better. All political action is then guided by some thought of better and worse, right? If you don't want things to get worse, you have some thought of worse. If you want them to get better, you have some thought of better. But, Strauss continues, thought of better or worse implies thought of the good. The awareness of the good which guides all our actions has the character of opinion. You have an opinion about what's better or worse. You have an opinion about what's good. It's no longer questioned. It's not an opinion that we subject to questioning as a rule, but on reflection, it proves to be questionable. The very fact that we can question it, this opinion of the good that guides us in our political action, directs us towards such a thought of the good as is no longer questionable, towards a thought which is no longer opinion, but knowledge. All political action has then in itself a directedness towards knowledge of the good, of the good life, or of the good society, for the good society is the complete political good. Second paragraph of the essay called What is Political Philosophy, which is the first chapter of the book, What is Political Philosophy? All by itself, a pretty amazing paragraph. All political action aims to preserve or to change, to preserve things so they don't get worse or to change them for the better. Therefore, it has reference to better and worse, therefore to some notion of the good which has the status of opinion and therefore all political action contains within itself the possibility of wanting to transform our opinion about the good into knowledge about the good and that effort well let me just tell you what Strauss says if this directedness towards knowledge of the good becomes explicit if men make it their explicit goal to acquire knowledge of the good life and of the good society political philosophy emerges. So you could say that political philosophy is the attempt to replace opinions about the good with knowledge of the good. All right, it's a long essay, about 50 or so pages, it compares the classical and modern approaches to the problem of political philosophy. Have you read Strauss? Is anybody watching this? What is political philosophy by Leo Strauss? Mandatory reading. I mean, read whatever you want, but if you want my recommendation, mandatory reading. As is most everything written by the man. Okay, so like I said, I was here testing. Thanks for the comment. If anybody else is there and just wants to give a sign of life, an indication that things are working like they should, the last video I recorded skipped like a minute or so. So hopefully that hasn't happened this time. Really going to have to... Uh, sort it out if it did okay thanks everybody i uh okay let me stick around for a question but again i just want to tell you if i get on these streams from now 
you know, from time to time now and again, I'm trying to test it, make it smooth, make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to work so that we can just get down to business more often, more quickly. Ibrahim, based on Leo Strauss's thought, is there any link between Platonism, metaphysics, and Islamic spirituality? Good question. Great question. Strauss definitely has drawn our attention to Islamic political Platonism or Islamic political philosophy in his writings on Al-Farabi, for example, and others. So you may want to look at Strauss on Al-Farabi's Plato. And some of Strauss's students have also gone on to write about Islamic political philosophy. So have a look at that. About the metaphysics, I'll leave it for you to discover what Strauss suggests or implies about the status of metaphysics in Islamic political science. So if you want a recommendation on Islamic metaphysics and spirituality, that's different from Strauss's sort of platonic approach to political life, which is a big question. I mean, after all, he's got a volume called Studies in Platonic Political Philosophy. You shouldn't think that it's obvious what he means by that. But if you want a more strictly speaking, metaphysical or spiritual approach than you would find in Strauss, I recommend, not like I'm an expert in this field, but the person I do know about whose writings I do find interesting, a guy named Henri Corbin, H-E-N-R-I-C-O-R-B-I-N, writes on Islamic mysticism. He was the first, as I understand, to translate fragments of Heidegger into French. Dugan, someone you may know I work on, writes a little bit about Islamic spirituality, Platonism, and metaphysics from that kind of perspective, a non-Straussian take on Islamic Platonism. Recommended reading Ernst Younger. All right, no problem. I wouldn't put him ahead of Strauss on the reading list, but he should be on there anyway. And this other comment, it's not unquestionably valid since the good is an idea. Uh, as long as I orient myself toward an eternal verity concerning the ideas, Strauss' formula is uncontroversial. Yeah, but Strauss does not suggest that the good is an idea. In this passage, anyways, he doesn't tell us what the good might be, just that if we have reference to better or worse, we have some notion of the good. And if we haven't questioned that notion in order to solidify it, then it has the status of opinion. So in principle, we could begin to examine that opinion and try to transform it into knowledge. It doesn't tell us whether knowledge of the good is attainable. It just tells us that there is a problem of political philosophy, which is directedness towards the question whether we can transform our opinion about the good into knowledge of the good. All right, well, nice being with you. That's all for now.